Hello dear students, this is Dr. Shivam Bhardwaj and I will be discussing the strategy for dental materials. As we all know, dental materials is one of the fundamental subjects and uh, this is something that is related to each and every branch of your dentistry. Of course, whatever branch you are in, you will be requiring certain materials and it is imperative for you to understand the properties, to have a good hold on the properties of those materials and that's going to differentiate you, the licensed practitioner from the quacks right it's not a mechanical work but you have to have the knowledge or the strong hand on the different properties of different compounds so that you can select your uh, material for a particular case based on the demand of that particular case right and that only a dentist with a profound knowledge of the materials he is going to use can do now not talking about too much uh, importance of this in your clinical life yes this is going to have a good a handsome amount of the questions in the INICT and neat examination also one more thing which we should be worried is a lot of numerical values are there a lot of things which we have to cram are there and uh, yes your neat examination ask you the value based question from this particular subject and here comes the role of our green mark things we have uh, uh, marked uh, highlighted uh, all the numerical values with green highlighters in our bytes and here you have to have extra focus on those green mark uh, values also and uh, you must have a little different strategy for this particular subject uh, uh, as compared to the conventional subjects and I, if I say uh, the strategy for this could be uh, triple R. So what is triple R? The first thing you have to read the uh, bytes or we can say whatever theory you are going to read right and then you have to revise that immediately okay it will be requiring multiple revisions in the first study itself right and then you will have to focus on the recalling of the information or recalling of the facts and the values which are important for the exam so i'll be discussing this in details now so before uh, going into the wrap of this i must tell you uh, the importance of this uh, particular subject uh, if we just discuss the previous years analysis of this particular uh, the five six years of the neat examination we would see that almost uh, 10 17 and 14 questions were asked in 2017 18 and 19 then in 2020 there were around 12 questions and last year also there were 11 questions from this particular subject and this accounts for 10 to 13 questions out of 240 questions that forms almost 5 percent but i personally believe almost 7 percent questions are coming from dental materials and nb also the body which is going to uh, set your uh, neat examination paper uh, they also recommend that almost 14 questions are going to come from this particular subject so this subject requires a lot of hard work a lot of patience and a lot of revision also but a maximum of these students or majority of these students fail to do that and this is the place where you can have the edge on others now coming to the books for this particular subject so the book for this particular subject is unequivocally the phillips science of dental materials so no one can deny this fact that this is the bible of your dental materials now there's another catch about this particular book is that uh, one thing we are using the south asian edition and another thing with every edition some of the important information it cut short for example if i compare the uh, 11th edition and the 12th edition there is a huge difference in the uh, content right now what if the examiner who is setting the paper he has read the 11th edition right so uh, what we have done for this particular for solving this this particular problem we have incorporated the uh, important information from few edition few recent editions of the Philips as well as the different SRC papers uh, the post SRC papers the conservative SRP paper we have taken the dental material parts from there we have incorporated all that information in our bytes so you should not be worried about that and of course it's not possible to do this dental material book in seven to ten days of time so of course we'll be uh, finding the bytes of great help 
Now coming to the most important thing of this particular video that is our task list. Yes, we should understand for the exams like NEET and AIMS, we cannot go uh, on reading blindly. You should have some specific topic and we have researched for you and we have found certain tasks for you and these tasks are the high yield tasks which are going to prove work for you. So first thing which we have here is the mechanical properties and physical properties and uh, believe me, at least one or two questions are expected from this particular uh, uh, topic itself and uh, these are the minimum number of the questions right and there can be almost three to four questions also and in mechanical properties also they give more value to the color, shade selection, value, hue, chroma in the uh, neat, uh, sorry, INICT examination. So you should have a uh, like very uh, concentrated approach for the color shading okay different shade guides okay all these questions are asked in INICT for sure and other things which can be asked from here is the stress strain curve then uh, what is uh, gamma and all so uh, uh, the modulus of elasticity uh, modulus of thermal, thermal expansion coefficient of thermal expansion and all so that you have to be prepared about this particular thing here itself and a lot of questions on graphs are asked from the mechanical properties and physical properties so uh, you should have like if you are uh, giving uh, 10 hours to the whole dental material so almost 20 percent of your time should be concentrated here then another important point or the topic here is the impression materials now the impression materials are of two type elastomeric impression materials and the hydrocolloids these two are very important plus the basic classification is very important so you should have a very uh, like uh, positive approach for these impression materials although you will be revising these impression materials again in the prosthodontics part but yes uh, here you can understand the properties of the impression material here itself then of course casting procedures and failures dental cements uh, we have not covered the a lot of dental cements in the conservative part and we have covered all the dental cements here in your dental material so you should read all those here itself then of course gypsum products at least one question is asked Dental amalgams, nowadays a lot of questions from the conservative aspects of the amalgam are not asked but they might ask some of the questions based on the properties, the physical property or sometimes the toxic properties of the amalgam. So uh, the dental amalgam is more important in dental materials rather than conservative. Dental polymers, yes you have to read those. The physical metallurgy, casting alloys, these two also form a very important part of the dental materials then comes the dental ceramics yes at least one question is always expected from this the other properties uh, i have already discussed these in the mechanical properties and physical properties but other properties like thermal optical and electrical are given separately as tasks for you then we have uh, as i have already told the impression materials rigid and hydrocolloid as well as the general comparison of different materials is there then we have the biocompatibility and at least one question is asked in INICT from dental vexes. Dental vexes are favorite for INICT and a lot of questions have been asked on the utility repeatedly. Okay, utility vex is there. So repeatedly few questions are there which were based on utility vex. Now another uh, important thing here is the materials and process for cutting, grinding, finishing and polishing. Not a lot of questions are asked but we have given it because um, many a times they can ask beyond the scope right. So this is something uh, which is uh, which you have to prepare. We have given it as task. Then the casting investment and procedures. Uh, yes, it carries some importance. Rot alloys. Bonding agents and composites we have covered in details in uh, your conservative. Yes, you can deal with this here itself. Then the prosthetic polymers, emerging technologies and dental implants. Now this is something uh, that is uh, hot nowadays. So this is a hot topic. So you should have a good hand on this. And of course, we are going to give the dental materials image and case based and dental material full syllabus test. So I should mention one thing. Uh, last year, we had GRP in which we have given the dental material images and direct images were picked in the NEET examination in 2021 NEET and uh, these were the directly picked from the question bank itself we can say so you should have a good approach for this dental materials image and case based questions and of course dental material full syllabus is our 
last class. So by now we have understood that the subject is very vast. You will require more efforts, more hard work and more patience and patience comes more when you have to revise. So you have to give sufficient time for the revision and recalls and I would suggest that uh, in the first reading itself you have to do the three revisions. For example, if you read the impression materials, read the impression material from bytes, solve your task, solve your question bank, whatever you want to do and again come back to the bytes and read those bytes again and then again solve the bookmark questions from the task or your question bank. Again go back and see whatever you have forgotten. Again go back to the bytes, read the bytes and solve the bookmark question. So this is, if you do this for three times, then it would be considered as your first reading in if you are reading for the first time if you are not a dropper and you are doing it for the first time so uh, this is all about the strategy of the dental materials and still if you have any other doubts you can always comment in the comment box below and i hope you like this video thanks a lot